Welcome everybody to my cyber war. This video is for the appointed school administrator in schools who have purchased a classroom license to my cyber wall. That's a license for teachers only. We do have another video for school administrators in school licenses. So we're going to just cover the basic admin, um, which is very easy and very quick that you do as a school administrator. So let's just log in. So you will have obviously been sent your login details. I am logging into a different account here. Uh, so just obviously make sure you enter your login carefully and exactly as it's been given to you. So once you log in, the first thing that's going to happen as a school administrator, you're going to see a screen that your teachers don't see, which is my CyberWall's Terms of Use, and there's a link to the privacy policy. So you need to read that, and then you are going to click on Accept these terms and conditions at the bottom. So let's do that. And then it's asking you if you want to reset your own password. So you can put in the same password as previously, or you can make up a new one, up to you and then reset. Okay, so you can obviously save your password if you want to. I'm going to say no thanks. So you've landed on my cyber wall. So today we're doing the school admin training and for that you will see at the bottom left here a section called settings. The other educators don't have this. You have been given special permissions to um, do the school admin. So let's click on here. Now for a classroom license you'll see that this is what your dashboard looks like. Let's just have a look at each one. So first of all, the school information. So first of all, this has already been populated. So you'll see all your school details have been put in here uh, when your school was set up by my cyber wall. You can upload your logo here. So all you would do to do to put your logo, which will then appear on the top right here on all your teachers' accounts is you click in there, you will choose your photo and um, let's just see if I've got one I can find quickly. I don't think so. Maybe I'll put a picture or something. Here we go. Let's just pretend that's my logo. It needs to be a JPEG file. It needs to be less than one meg and that is what will appear. And then the next thing you're going to do is to press save. There we go. All right. So I, there's nothing else you need to do in the school information unless we've put something wrong in there, in which case you can edit it. You don't have classes set up and you don't need to worry about the school template. You don't have learners in a classroom license, but you have educators. So let's just have a look at the educators and what you can do with the educators. So, so far we will have set your educators up and for that, that's why we asked you for the first names, surnames and emails um, of your educators that you currently have. So if you have a look here, there's three educators that have been added to this school account. We've also, in every school, we add a My Cyberwall admin account. Just don't worry about that. It doesn't get counted in the numbers that you get invoiced for either. It's just so that we can access your school's account if there's ever a problem that we need to troubleshoot, etc. So what are the things that you can do with the educators? Well, first of all, if you just go to the three uh, dots there. We can update the details here. Let's do that. So if you have a look, these are the fields here that must be completed. The first name, the surname and the email address. So let's just say uh, this lady has forgotten her password. Let's reset her password. So I'm just putting a new password in. You enter it twice and then we save it. And then obviously don't forget to tell this teacher that you have reset the password and what that password is. The other thing you can do here, oh, sorry, you need to press save, obviously. Let's just go back in there. You can make uh, beauty and admin as well, which will give her the same permissions. But we do suggest that obviously she does get training and that you get training before you are uh, given admin rights. So you can make her an admin. You can also change her email address. Uh, if she gets married, for example, you can change her surname, etc. here. When an educator leaves your school, very important, you need to delete them. They're not allowed to take their login to the new school. It's owned by your school who's paid for it, and it needs to be then reallocated to a different educator. So all you do there is delete, 
And would you want to delete him? Let's say yes. It's going to delete him off the system. Okay, it tells you he's successfully been deleted. And the other thing that you might need to do here is to add a new educator. So you just go plus, and then let's put a new one in. Angela Apple, and you put her Angela at gmail.com. So these are the only compulsory fields here. The first name, the surname, you don't need to put the ID number in or the cell phone, the email address, and then you set the password. Okay, so I'll just make that Angela. Angela is not an admin, and I'm going to save. So you obviously need to go and tell Angela what her username is, which is the email address, and then what her password is. It's the one that you've entered in there. So again, you can delete and you can edit that. So as a school admin, that's really all you're going to need to do is edit, add and delete your educators. That should be as much work as you need to do on the admin side. So if you go back to the menu here under resources, you will see a tutorial on this. And um, remember you're a classroom license, so you don't have learners and you don't have um, classes. So some of the things in this tutorial will not apply to you. So where is it? It is calendar admin. There's the admin procedures there. So if we click in here, it's going to take us to the admin procedures and you'll see it's a PowerPoint presentation and you can click on the attachment and download it and you'll get all the instructions on how to do this admin. So there we go. So the attachment is here. You can download that if you want to, but otherwise you can just view on the screen here. Um, exactly what we've been through just now. So the other thing that you can find in the resources section, which you might need to look at, remember you clicked on the terms of use. So if you look at the legal stuff here, if you want to view it in more detail, here's the terms of use, the privacy policy, and then there's the classroom license agreement as well. So you would want to have a look at all of those uh, policies there. That's all we're doing for today. I hope this has helped you. Um, if you do have any problems with the admin, you can just email us on support at mycyberwall.co.za. Thanks very much for watching.